Hi, this is Eric Smith. I thought I would just come outside with my son, even though it's hot out, and do a quick look on a verse, a set of verses, excuse me, from the book of Malachi. Before I do the verses, I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to try to um, post my quick looks on Tuesdays and Fridays, so I can just be a little bit more consistent and people know what days those quick looks are coming out. Um, I chose the book of Malachi because the prophet Malachi was the last Old Testament prophet before Jesus Christ came on the scene in the flesh in the New Testament. There's a 400 year gap, and Malachi was sent by God to seriously rebuke and reprove the nation of Israel. And what's interesting about this book is that when Malachi does this, he speaks to God in a very unique way. He tells Israel what they've done. Then he will tell that he would he will say, this is what you're going to say to me when I say this to you, Israel. And then he'll go into more detail about what they did. So in these particular verses, Malachi chapter 3, verses 13 through 15, we're going to see something that is very stark and startling. And it has to do with people claiming to be God's people, but not doing the right thing. And in these set of verses, we're going to see something that these people were engaging in, and it was actually arrogance. This is the word of God. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, it is vain to serve God, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy, yea, they that work wickedness are set up, yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. In these three verses, the prophet Malachi is talking about what Israel has done. You notice in verse 13 it starts, your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. The word stout there means arrogant. They've been arrogant against the Lord. And anticipating that they're going to ask, the next part of the verse says, Yet you say, what yet you say, what have we spoken so much against thee? So now God, who knows everything, is already anticipating that they're going to say, Well, what did we say against you? What did we do? And then in verse 14, the prophet Malachi shows us three startling things. The first thing is you have said it is vain to serve God. So this is what the nation of Israel was saying, that it was vain or empty to serve God. Yet they were supposed to be God's people. Then it says, and what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance? So they're saying, what profit is it that we keep your commandments? How is that profitable to us? Now we know the commandments of God are good and righteous and holy, and yet they're supposed to be God's people, and they're saying what? What profit is it? And then the third thing in that verse says, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts. That means lamenting. And they're basically saying, why do we have to do that? Why do we have to walk mournfully before you? It's not profitable. Why should we lament? Well, God's people should lament. They should repent and feel mournful about the things that they're doing. Verse 15 continues. And again, here's three things that Malachi is going to show them. And now we call the proud happy. Do you hear that? They're calling the prideful, sinful man happy. That the things that they're doing is good and that they're happy to be doing it. And then, yea, they that work wickedness are set up. So the people of God, the supposed people of God are saying the people that are wicked are actually set up. Like they've got it going on. Like this is this is great that they're wicked. And then, yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. And they're saying that the people that tempt God, that are unsaved, are actually delivered. That they're not even going to face any judgment. So we see that Malachi, Malachi is reaching out to Israel and rebuking and reproving them for being what? For being apostate. And apostate means you're really not a believer in Jesus Christ. You're not really a believer in God. You say you are, but your actions and your words show that you are not. Now, there are some Christians that may follow apostate ways and still be believers in Jesus Christ, but there's people that claim to be God's people that really aren't. And their actions and their words consistently show that. 
And that's what Malachi is showing here, that they were supposed to be the people of God, and all these things were against God. They were arrogant against God. They thought they knew better than God, and they thought that the people that were outside of God's kingdom actually had it set up and were better. And you know what? As Christians today, we want to be very, very careful not to have this attitude towards God. And we need to examine ourselves. Are we arrogant towards God and his word? So this is Malachi 3, verses 13 through 15. I just wanted to do a quick look just to remind believers in Jesus Christ today that we better be careful about our inner thoughts and what we say. They better line up with the word of God. We should not be arrogant against God unless we're actually apostate. As always, if you like our videos and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky, do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, please stay cool. Right now it's like 92 degrees out here, but praise God for the summer heat and praise God that God is a good God through the weather, through providence, and through everything else. So thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and God bless.